Roxy is a five-year-old Shire mare that was sent to us for retraining after she bolted with a chain harrow with her owners. Roxy had been to another trainer to be broken to drive with the owner's other Shire, and after the bolting incident was sent back there, however the owners then decided to send her to us. They had been advised to drive her with her head tied down by means of a rope coming over her head, through her bit, between her front legs and back to the pad, which we verified with the other trainer ourselves as well. When her harness came here with her straight from the other trainer's yard, it still had the blue nylon rope attached and there was a twisted wire snaffle on the bridle. It is always difficult trying to sort out problems that have been instilled in the horse, or trying to correct gaps in the horse's education and teach them new ways because we do not believe the original methods were right. Every trainer does things differently and has their own reasons for doing so, therefore we can only go on our own assessment of the horse and our way of doing things. In this case the owners are also novice drivers so we do not know exactly where Roxy's issues originate from. Therefore we had to go back to basics and ensure all the groundwork was done our way in order to get Roxy to be safe, confident and happy in harness on a rubber bit without needing her head tied down in order to control her. Another video shows how reluctant she was to be bridled, however after building up her confidence and teaching her that the bit was no longer going to hurt her and that her head would not be restrained and forced down, she now accepts the bit happily. We worked on improving Roxy's head carriage with the aid of side reins and soft elastic. This means she can still freely move her head as the elastic stretches out, but it encourages her gently to arch her neck without forcing her to keep it in a certain position. She can still lift her head up high or put it down low. We also taught Roxy to go happily on a loose rein so she was responsive to voice commands. She has also been driven by different people at our yard. This ensures that she is used to other voices apart from Barry's and to different fields from different hands on the reins. As Roxy's owners have a pair of horses, we drove her alongside Roly. Our plan is to build Roxy's confidence as a pair, then as a single, including putting her on chain harrows again. Ideally, we then want the other horse up with us so that we can put them back as a pair. We did not break the other horse originally, so we do not know what standard he has been broken to, or if he has any lingering issues from the bolting incident. Therefore, rather than take Roxy home and have the other horse as the cause of any problems, which the owners would then be attempting to sort out themselves without any assistance, in our opinion it is better that the other horse comes here so that we can ensure both horses are reliable and that the owners can drive them happily. We took this mare in at short notice because of the position the owners found themselves in. Another client on the waiting list allowed them to take their place so that Roxy could come straight from the other trainer's yard. As we have now got her safe, confident and happy in a pair and under saddle as you can see on the films, she now has to go home for a break until we have space for the other horse to come up with her. Hopefully in the near future we will have room for the pair to come in so that both horses can be safe, confident and happy in harness. At the same time their owners can arrange some time to come up and spend with us in order to build up their confidence and improve their horsemanship with these harness horses. This film shows the progress we achieved with Roxy while she was with us. She will work happily on both sides of the pole and is confident in heavy traffic. As well as getting her driving happily in a pair, we also broke her to ride. This can be seen on another film. We have now advised that Roxy goes home for a break. Then when we have the pair back in, we will put them as a pair, single and on the chain harrows to ensure both horses are happy in harness. We will also be spending some time with the owners because the horse needs to have confidence in the driver too. As the horse is bolted with the owners, it is understandable that they will need their own confidence building up. Taking Roxy home and riding her will enable the owners to spend some time with her and begin to trust her again before addressing their own confidence driving and long reining on chain harrows. We also want to see how Roxy's behaviour alters when she is back being handled by her owners every day. This will then give us further indication as to which way to proceed and what we need to work on with her owners when she returns. As you can see on this film, Roxy is now happy working at all paces in harness and can be driven just in a soft piece of rubber. Being alongside Roly also means that if she wanted to run off, we cannot stop her due to her being much bigger than Roly. We have no way of getting hold of her should she choose to go as she is physically capable of pulling Roly and the carriage along by herself and the rubber bit will not cause her any pain in her mouth so she will be able to run. Therefore we are showing how much confidence we have in our training methods 
and the fact that we are able to control her just in a soft rubber bit.